many kids, and even some adults, think that teachers do nothing but laze about while school is out all summer long. A group of dedicated and industrious teachers from the Genesee Valley region, however, dispels this stereotype. Let's take a look at what career and tech teachers, along with math teachers, learn from building a rain gauge and estimating with floor joists. Protective suits, gloves, and goggles were required. They're, they're learning how to work together, how to be teams. They're learning in the rain gauge uh, velocity. They're learning about amps and voltage for science. They're learning fractions, angles, intersecting lines. Uh, and the goal is that when they come out, they'll be able to take something back to their classroom as well as use a lesson plan on the same kinds of topics. And in our estimating, they're learning about not only woodworking, but how to estimate uh, supplies and materials to build a house. Metal trades expert Ole Olson, wearing his protective suit and safety gear, guided teachers through the process of building a rain gauge. We started by determining what th gauge or what thickness of uh, material to work with. They did produce a rain gauge, and we added the thermometer on the side. This is a useful product so that they can actually take it back to their home school, and, and our intent is to have them place it outside of their window so that their students can look at it and they say, yeah, you know, I spent the summer and took a couple days and went and made that. And uh, using the thermometer indicates Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, they had to use different processes of using the shears to the plasma cutter to the wire feeds in order to fabricate this. And then on the rain gauge, they have to calibrate that vial to indicate how much rain would actually drop in a, a given period of time. Rich Monroe, building trade specialist with a background in electrical, plumbing, and heating systems, assigned teachers an estimation project involving the measuring of floor joists. Well, the project was estimating, and it's based on uh, stuff that I do every day. It's, it's reading blueprints and interpreting blueprints to uh, get materials and to properly organize and, and uh, perform the job of building a house for a, for a customer. And now that's what we do with the kids. So what we're doing with the teachers is, is to uh, try to get them to understand the complexity of the math that we use uh, so that they uh, have better insight to what the kids really need to survive in our environment. These teachers voluntarily spent time during the summer to participate in this program known as the Great Partnership or the Genesee Regional Academic Technical Partnership. The Great Partnership brings together educators from career and technical education with school district math teachers to develop new teaching approaches for students. One of the neatest things that came out of it was the realization that the career and tech teachers and the home district teachers who share these students were actually beginning to speak to each other. In fact, one kid said to one of the, well, the teachers here at the Mount Morris campus, he said, you're talking to my math teacher? And it kind of raised, not only raised the kids' level of concern, but the fact that they're actually coordinating the instruction for these kids. It's truly a partnership and a collaboration of the math teachers knowing what they know and doing what they do best, and the career and tech teachers bringing real life situations to doing what they do so that they can better relate to the kids why you need math. So the next time you and your family members are lying by the pool or playing in the summer sunshine, remember that your teacher just might be working hard with fellow educators to make your next school year a great one. For Homer Hotline, I'm Katie Sullivan.